Hi, peeps. What's going on? Ralphie with Stray Benzes here. And this time, I, in this episode, I'm going to go over a couple of causes of um, high idle. Uh, so here we go. All right. One myth that I need to debunk is right under here, there's a cap here. And under it is a three millimeter adjustment screw. On some of them, there's a little steel ball in it, so you can't even get to it. But what it isn't, it's not an idle adjustment uh, control thing, anything. What this does is, is it sets the uh, idle, <laughs> the idle mix. So the only thing that you're gonna change is the mixture, air to fuel mixture ratio at idle. It's, if it's gonna stall or peter out or, or use excessive fuel, not a good thing. So, but I get these questions all the time. What do I do with that cap? So, like, leave it alone if the, the engine idles fine, it has been running fine, but if you're anywhere close to like 3000 RPM, two or 3000 RPM high idle, it's most likely this next thing. And this is also true for uh, diesel. The diesel will just go into low RPM, but this is one with uh, two fuses in it on the newer models. On the older one, it has only one fuse. That's the over voltage protection relay. Your ABS light might come on, uh, your, um, and it's gonna go into high idle. So that is the next thing that it can cause I idle. Change that, make sure the fuses are okay, and make absolutely sure you're gonna get the right one because then it's so easy to get the incorrect uh, over voltage protection relay and it's not gonna idle right. So, next thing is going to be, and there was another episode, that here. That's the idle control valve. Make sure when you take this um, connector off that you get uh, zero ohms if you have anything close to five clean it out or exchange it that is usually 1000 rpm so the next thing is in the footwell it's in the footwell on the passenger side behind the carpet and that big plastic thing that's the engine uh, idle control unit it can go wrong most of those controls never really go bad um, but uh, if you have checked everything else, because the next thing is going to be, you need to make absolutely sure that you don't have vacuum leaks. Uh, smoke test the engine, make sure that there's no uh, um, like worn out uh, throttle shaft or stuff like that. That can cause high idle also, and, and it's not really gonna run like a champ anyway. So here, a couple of, here were a couple of these main causes of high idle, but like I said, do not try to adjust the idle with that three millimeter element. Not the right location. That is to be left alone. You set that one such that you achieve the highest idle because that, is, that means that you have the right mixture at that point in time. Anything else is either electronic or some of those valves or the over voltage uh, protection relay. Good luck. There's one more I forgot. And that is the um, throttle position uh, potential meter sitting right, bolted right next to uh, the uh, air intake, uh, fuel injection uh, mixture, idle, idle control, all of that assembly on top of the engine. That is another one that I will tackle in one of those upcoming uh, episodes because it can, can be confusing what to measure and where to measure. But, that's, that can be another one that I almost forgot.